Good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily conversation or my daily talk. This is episode number 777, that's 777 in case you're keeping track. And the topic today is um, why it's time for women to step up and in parentheses not just because men are effed. And I'll talk about that in a moment, also reflect on yesterday's talk so you know where I'm coming from. There's a lot of explaining to do. Before I jump in though, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about and uh, why I do these talks every day. My name is Barry Selby, in case you haven't seen my title somewhere in the broadcast. And I am a best-selling author of the book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. My first book, I've got another one brewing, it feels like, but that'll be in for another time. Um, that book is for singles and couples, men and women, straight or gay. There's 50 principles for healthy relationships for everybody. So I recommend the book. And I guess I'll put a link in the comments at the back end so you can find it. I'm also an inspirational speaker and relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work and also is what inspires these talks I do every day now for over two years called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today we're at episode number 777. That's a lot of talks. And this is a pro-women talk, in case you haven't figured out from the title. And it's not anti-men as much as it's about waking men up because the reality is, if you watched my talk yesterday, I did speak into the conversation about how men have, how a particular segment of men have really gotten themselves into a dark corner perhaps I'm not sure I to say exactly so let me just do a quick Cliff Notes version of that so you know where I am in case you don't have time to go back and watch yesterday's broadcast although I do recommend it of course because you know there's useful stuff in them so what I spoke about yesterday was how in the culture we have in the western world particularly the straight white Christian western male that was the litany of descriptions I used they're the least developed part of our population. And I don't mean that in terms of physically developed, I mean that in terms of spiritually, emotionally, and consciousness developed. I didn't say it that way yesterday, but I'm saying it that way today to give people a clue where I'd like to recommend we go. And for me, what I was aware of, and having gone through the journey of being abused, at, being bullied at high school because I was Jewish, because I'm not a Christian male, <laughs> that's one thing different, is that particular combination of, of, of aspects, straight, white, Western, Christian, male. Those five things together is the combination that unfortunately for a lot of men has given them a pass on doing anything to develop themselves. And the reality is, is that most other parts of the population who are not straight, white, male, Western, Christian, in that order, sort of, kind of, who have been put down or judged or felt out like an outsider, so they've, done, they've been willing to look at themselves and maybe do some consciousness work on themselves. So that's the cliff notes of yesterday's broadcast. So let's bring it into today's conversation. The reason why I put in the title about it's time for women to step up is partly inspired by what's been happening politically, because that's definitely been putting things in, in perspective, but also because it's becoming clear more and more that the paradigm we've been living under for the last three, 400 years in the Western world has put women in second place so much of the time that a lot of women don't know it's time to step up, to step out, to be a leader. The thing is, though, two things, actually. Well, I mean, let me say those two things for a minute. Let me back up a second. I'm very clear in my work, and if you watch my broadcast any time over the last two plus years, I've definitely dropped seeds and hints and plants and reminders that for women, I encourage you, I invite you to step into your leadership, to be a leader in the world, and to be part of the transformation that I look at, that I feel is coming towards the planet not a manifesto but it's a, it's a hint so two things about that I want to speak about directly though as well is one is I'm speaking to this from the speaking to to you as a encouragement of your feminine leadership not just competing with the men because that's a different conversation which I may touch into secondly though is to to team up to be in group to be together because the thing is that w what women have done before has been to step out on their own in leadership and not be supported by other women. And that sometimes they've paid the price. That happened in past elections, that's happened in past leadership roles, where women who had to either act like the men to compete with the men, which has happened many times before, or fail at what they're doing because they're not being supported. Because part of the feminine energy is a, an energy of, um, um, what's the word looking for? Not cohesiveness. The feminine energy is one of inclusion. That's probably a better way of putting it. 
the masculine energy is not so much divisive as singular focus. One of the strengths that we have as masculine men, and I mean masculine men, not just men in general, because a lot of men aren't being masculine, is being linear and focused about where we're going, what we're up to, and what we're about in the world. The feminine is less narrow focused and more wide inclusiveness. And so when I speak about this, about why it's time for women to step up, it's because it's time that we all, we all, not just the women, but we all started being in the same conversation. There's a disparity happening in this world. <laughs> There has been a disparity in this world for a long time that puts women particularly at a disadvantage. As I mentioned yesterday, and I was just going to be in some of the things I talked about yesterday's broadcast, the straight white Western Christian male has had the world under his thumb for a long time. That part of the population is the most, as I said, effed up, the most, um, yesterday I called them screwed, as being polite. But the truth is that for that part of the population, because they, they never had any, they had never received any feedback, any um, challenges that made them feel like there's anything wrong. And that's, why, and that's why I said why I think amongst that part of the population, the straight white Western Christian male, is the greater proportion of, <coughs> excuse me, of rapists, of suicides, of mass murderers, than any other part of the population. And I'm not condoning or excusing that behavior. What I'm saying is though, is that there's been no support, if that's the right word, no, you support is the wrong word, awareness that that part of the population has issues. Because everybody has issues. Let's be clear about that. Human beings as a race, as a population, has issues. I have issues, you have issues, yes, I know, even you have issues. Some of us have done some, taken some steps, have done some work to heal some of those issues, to resolve some of those issues, to transform some of those issues. But a large part of the population hasn't, and predominantly is the straight white, straight white Western Christian male, get all those words in the five, the five words, hasn't had the opportunity, hasn't been aware there's an opportunity, and hasn't felt any disparity with who they are. They think they're fine. And that's why when things go wrong, these aberrations, so to speak, of death to themselves, death to others, or other things like that, comes out of a seeming left field. But the truth is it's been there all along. It's just the fact they've never dealt with their demons. And so very few of them go see therapists, very few of them go to seminars and the population. But the rest of the population, those of us who are not part of that straight, white, Western Christian male population, we have. Either because we've realize we're not perfect, we're not whole, we, excuse me, we've believed, let me be accurate here, not we, haven't, we haven't realized, we've believed that we're not whole, we're not divine, we're not perfect. So we've chosen, for a lot of us, but maybe I'm just speaking for myself, maybe you have, I know, I know I have, have been on this path of personal growth for a long time because it makes me more whole. Let me change that one again. It reminds me that I'm whole, more whole than I thought I was. This is the thing, I'm watching the languaging here because I'm, keep, I'm saying things I realize that are actually falsehoods because we're all divine perfect whole beings as we are but for most of us we don't know that or don't remember that or don't believe that so having tools having support having coaches counselors therapists seminars books teachings that enable us to remember our truth is where the work comes up so ladies just to speak to this point in the talk because i was talking i dropped that at the beginning and i'll come back to that why I believe it's time for you to step up is because your ability to include, as I mentioned, your ability to invite, your ability to connect, is probably a better word, everybody is a gift that this world needs more than ever. I'll tell you something earlier about the, um, the fate of the planet, so to speak, because there's a lot of stuff about global warming, climate change, everything else. The reality is our planet will take care of itself. We may not be around to see it, but the planet will take care of itself. It has the, well, after what happened like after Chernobyl and other places in the planet where there have been disasters, the world rebuilds itself, no problem at all, especially without our intervention. Meaning that our life on the planet, our human race experience on the planet is what is causing more harm and can cause and can accelerate the healing if we step back. Part of why, I want the, why I'm saying for women to step forward is not just fix the planet, because that's another whole, that's another whole conversation, but to realize that when we embrace and hold each other to account in 
in, in um, authenticity and in respect, we can actually create a new harmony, a new place of being. Right now, there's such disparity on the planet, in the media, in the, polit in the political field, and everywhere, where people I knew as friends, I don't know if I trust them anymore because they can become so oppos oppositional to where I'm standing. And yes, some of those are women. For me, what I'm aware of is that I'm, I'm, I'm my work, which I'm but right now I've been working on for the last few weeks, especially, is how can I see through the lens of truth beyond that illusion of separation? I believe for women, it's easier for you as women to see beyond the separation than it is for men. Because again, because we're singular focus, we see black or white, we don't see both as easily as you do in the feminine. And so I'm not, I'd also I'm not saying I want to pass the buck of responsibility, but I do want to invite you ladies to be the skilled feminine leaders that you are to e expand and include so that we can come out of this either or black and white up and down arrogance that we have in this world to unify to come together in understanding of our differences but also in understanding our connections is where the future holds success for all of us and the planet I don't know why I got involved with the, with the whole planet thing but it came up as a piece on my awareness because I'm realizing clearly that we as human beings have a, are, are not taking care of our home both the, the land we live in and the people we're around. And there's room for us to improve, to change, to grow, and to become much more um, responsible. I know it's a heavy word for some people, but caring people on the planet. Because this is something I'm very aware of, is that we have room to grow, we have room to heal, we have room to transform, and we have room to become better beings. I'm realizing this tool doesn't, okay, just, just, sidebar or, or a cliff notes I'm just really realizing this talk is not as cohesive as I planned because I didn't have a plan before I started this one just came out the way it came out so to, to put this as succinctly as I can and clearly as I can is ladies we need you I'm not speaking I'm speaking for all men knowing that all men won't agree with me but I'm saying for myself we need you as leaders as feminine leaders as the powerful precess energy that you have that can be transformational, that can be healing, that can be magical, can be it's not restorative is another word hmm I'm trying to the other, uh, excuse me a second I'm just not re going through my own thesaurus to find the right word uh, well say so this way you as, you as feminine women can bring a grace fulfilling energy to all of the ails this planet the people and its and the land we stand on I keep coming back to that some it, there's something else brewing apparently in this talk that's not clear yet but it's but it keeps popping its head in so excuse me as I process that um, hmm. <laughs> this wasn't my usual talk it's definitely not my usual relationship centric conversation um, but I wanted to put this out, so this is out. Okay. If you didn't see yesterday's broadcast, I highly recommend you check that out. That was a rather blunt expose about how men are screwed up, particularly the straight, white, Western, Christian, male part of the population. I do recommend you watch that, or do invite you to watch that and give you feedback on that. This one is kind of a PS to that. Not as clear, apparently, from, at least from my experience of, what, of saying it. Hopefully it made some sense to you. Then I'll leave, this as a, I'll leave it this way. This is a conversation starter, I like to think. An invitation for dialogue, for conversation about this, about how men and women can come together in a way that works, how women can step up to a place of equality, leadership and authority, because it's time, and how the men that are attempting to burn the ship we're all on can step back from the edge and we can change the way we go do things in the future. I think that's it. That's a it's a weird talk. It's a, it feels weird today. So I hope this has made some sense to you. If it has, great. Let me know. If it hasn't made sense, let me know that too. I don't know if it does or did or what it does. Um, I appreciate you being with me, even when I do these weird talks. <laughs> I have got a whole library of these talks that go back to number one, so seven hundred seventy-six plus this one, seven hundred seventy-seven. And I'll tell you, we can find all my broadcasts and catch my replays. Um, I usually go live at five p.m. Pacific time every day on my Facebook page here, which is Barry Selby. And the talks are usually more relationship centric or love and self support centric. Today's was just a different one because it did that way. Um, to watch my replays, 
for all the other ones as well. On my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, you find all my replays. And then on my YouTube channel, which I have a whole library, called, a whole playlist called Messages from the Masculine. My YouTube channel, his name is Barry Selby, of course, my name. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch them all there. It's easy to find on YouTube, by the way. It's easy to scan through and search through with your browser than it is on uh, YouTube, on Facebook, the way it works out. Um, with that, thank you for watching. Again, I'll put a link in the comments for my book because I did mention that. Um, there seems anything else. I think that's it. I, I have no, no other links I feel like are appropriate to put out for this without being a sales pitch. So I'll leave it where it is right there. I appreciate you watching. I'm back in tomorrow with something a bit more relevant, perhaps, more directly applicable, unless this was for you as well. And with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel, uh, episode 778 tomorrow. We'll see what that's going to be about. With that, I thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.